Ladies and gentlemen, did you play Sim Golf back in the day? Sim Golf was a golf course building management game by Sid Meier and Will Wright. The Civilization guy and The Sims guy came together and made a golf management tycoon game because, I don't know, but it became a classic and everyone who played it seems to love it and remember it. And here we have an early look at Golftopia, a sci-fi spiritual successor to Sim Golf. It looks a lot like Sim Golf, just somewhat in the future. And this is an early look. The game is not even in early access yet on Steam. It's entering early access in 2020. Looking at a late 2020 or early 2021 release. And a review code was provided. So let's go ahead and encounter Golftopia. Main menu has funky music. I like it when there's funky music. <laughs> anyway, we know the premise. We're, there's probably we're gonna be kind. This is so early access. It's not even for sale in early access yet. So we are kind to games that are honest about that. As long as they're not releasing into 1.0 and it's like not done. You know, that misleads consumers, but this is earlier than early access, so if there's bugs, if there's things missing, if there's issues, we'll be kind. Uh, let's go ahead and click on, uh, just have a quick look at settings here. It's a very bright settings menu. We've got a whole list of resolutions here. This could be a drop down, drop down menu eventually. Uh, we've got some graphic settings. Uh, we have separate audio sliders, very much appreciated. And we have some input stuff, which obviously I would prefer these options menu to be far more fleshed out, but that's fine. Let's click on new game. Let's load into Golftopia. So we've got a map to design here. We can see, let's, let's try set everything to very high and see what happens. Let's set everything to very high. Temperature, okay, trees, yeah, rocks, roundness, weeds, um, and regenerate map what what does it give us what monstrosity of horror do we get <laughs> this looks very difficult this looks very difficult um so let's not do that let's not do that let's set everything down to zero and see what happens what is roundness controls how round the map appears at the start the map is inherently square therefore you are free to change the height of the full map bounds regardless i don't know what it's talking about map roundness let's just drop everything down to zero and regenerate map what does it give us now this looks very easy and yet very boring so this roundness if i do that what happens there it is the edges okay i see uh, so if we just go to medium for everything, you know, let's throw in yeah, medium rocks. Uh, let's go for high trees. Uh, high, high, high. Yes. Temperature. This is low. What, what happens? Does it change the type of trees? This is cold region. If I regenerate map, does it give us tropical? It does. It looks like a desert. Okay. Temperature. This should be like climate. Like what? What's, what's medium temperature? Okay, nice. A mix. A mix, that's good. Grass, let's throw on some high grass. Mountains, let's throw some high mountains. Let's throw in some hills here. Everything being high is probably going to be interesting. Uh, let's start with zero weeds. I assume weeds will, yeah, eventually appear. Uh, regenerate map. Let's, let's see what this is. Yeah, so this was sort of like the default. We dropped the temperature a bit. We pushed other things up a bit. Can we have, like more mountains okay that's kind of interesting we got that plateau there we got this ridge here this this is kind of interesting yeah i like this good number of rocks good number of trees good number of uh, amount of grass maybe a bit more grass so far music is pretty cool 
Uh, I hope this doesn't get copyright claimed on YouTube. That happens with a lot of early access games. Uh, but hopefully it's fine. Hopefully it's fine. Uh, this looks really interesting and cool. I like that. Um, let's round it out a little bit more because it looks a bit squarey. Yeah, there's a, a bit less. Okay, this looks cool. Nice ridges, little lakes and ponds, plateaus, all of that. Let's, um, if you want this seed when the game starts, it is um, 7028. Let us go to the next step. Economic difficulty, normal. Weed difficulty, normal. Pay to change ground types, off, off. Okay, it's fine, default, start map. Welcome to your very own golf course. Despite what you may have heard, making a profitable golf course is difficult. The faster you build, the more problems you'll have to deal with. This isn't a race, and even a single hole golf course can turn a profit. Build up slowly and be sure to read the advisory notifications when you see them. Good luck. Alright, so I've loaded up this game before and seen like the first two steps of what we're supposed to do. Um. <laughs> Sounds like a lame golf course. Yeah, we've got one hole here. You show up, par three, now go home, right? That, that's all we got. So there is a tutorial, which is nice to have. Let's follow this. The clubhouse is the heart of the golf course. Every golfer will start and end their visit here. You may only have one clubhouse, so make sure you place it close to where you plan to have your first golf tee. Golfers don't like to walk long distances. And I've been eyeing this little plateau here with this little ramp down. I want to build the clubhouse up here. Can I do this? Oh, there's rocks in the way. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna build it at the back. This looks really good. Can we rotate? F. Rotate is R and F, I see. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. Let's start our clubhouse right there. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Yes, that's the perfect spot. Okay, let's build a golf tee. So this this should play pretty much exactly like um, exactly like uh, sim golf, right? So okay, we can start right outside. Here's the first golf tee. We're gonna put a golf hole. Oh, it shows the path that they they would want to take, right? So it, it, I remember reading, it mentions they will always try to golf towards the hole. So if you try and do a U-turn in your course, the golfers don't really get it. So I think we do this over to this little water side down the hill. Right, that looks cool. Property not owned. Oh, this is not my property. We've got to go down the other way. Okay. Um... Have we actually screwed ourselves? <laughs> I'm on this cliff and the ramp down is not our property. How do we buy property? <laughs> I didn't realize. Um, do we have a way to build? Maybe there's a way around it. Maybe, can we, can we traverse down this cliff somehow? Is that a ramp? Can we go down there? I can't build there, but hopefully they can walk down there. Right? So let's set... I don't know. If I just set the first hole here, what happens? What happens? Okay. The first hole. All right. This this looks incredibly difficult. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, they'll they'll never shoot away. Let's paint some fairway. So let's make this kind of, Can I can I just go down this way? Kind of. Okay. I've also got green. Let's surround this with green. Um, and that should be fine. That should be fine. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, let us open. T1 open. Clubhouse open. Accept. Okay. My perfectly laid plans ruined. Ruined. Look at this. This is not... I don't own this. I don't own that territory. Okay. Can they make it down that fairway? Like, I just, I don't even know if it's possible. These golfers are really bad. They're really bad. Now, one thing, one thing that made sim golf work 
is personality, right? You, they hit things and they go like, Chmayuho! Because they're sims, right? They're sims. Okay, these guys are really bad. We're gonna make this a little bit easier by... Oh, I can not paint over green. Okay, nice little spray abilities here. Try to make this a little bit easier for them. Okay, good. Okay, they can walk down. We're not totally screwed. <laughs> Delete the fairway so they have to shoot it off. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna leave it as is. This guy is so bad. How did you even... I mean, I know the cliff kind of does that, but... This is kind of hideous, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright. So, the, from my first impressions of this game, there are a lot of stats and numbers, right? My ball is off course. Minus four. Right, he shot it down there. Connor. Okay, and as with Sim Golf, they pay when they get to the end based on their happiness. But yeah, there's a lot of numbers to follow, which is very much appreciated if you are trying to min max your gameplay experience. By the way, the developers are called min max. Um, but it's a little bit overwhelming at the start, so I'm just kind of gonna ignore it. Are these their golf balls? They just left them there? Okay, but they can walk up and down there. So if I... Is there a delete? How do you, uh, like, unspray what we've put there? This is ground types. I'm not sure if it's possible to undo ground types. So perhaps I just leave it for now. I just don't know how to do it anyway. But let's explore some of the other stuff. Uh, terrain tools. Okay, we can push terrain up and down. No problem. Public buildings. Ah, learn about lights. The golf course operates 24 hours a day. Golf balls are made up of a glowing material that makes them easy to find during the night hours. This glowing effect will diminish over time. Place lights around your course to recharge the golf balls. They're glow-in-the-dark golf balls. So I think there are lights there. So we want to light up this area. Okay. We want to light up the starting area. And I suppose we want to light up the middle bit as well. Can we? There we go. Good. Lighting up the whole map is unnecessary and expensive. So now everything's lit up. Oh, that was a good shot. Look, someone knows how to play golf. Was it Bryce? I better avoid the steep cliff. I love coming to play golf. This downhill shot looks fun. I hit the ball longer than expected. There's noisy construction nearby because I built near him. There's minus two. I see. Alright, but this is working out alright. Better than expected. What else do we got? We've got benches, restrooms, drink machines. These all have upkeep costs. Trans tube connectors. Okay. You know, how about we set up a second a second hole? Um what? Daily profit 277? Alright. There's a lot of trees there. Let's set up a, a hole down this way. Golf structures T. Set another T right here. On top of this. Can I rotate this? Or is it just Oh I can rotate this. Okay. So if I start the next T there. Okay, and I want the next hole to be over this way. Oh, it does, it does auto-rotate to wherever it's meant to go. Okay, so this is going to be another downhill shot between these water areas. Let's... Paint fairway. Let's keep it relatively easy for now. We're gonna paint some green around that. And let's uh total grounds upkeep 57. 
there's there's a warning about total grounds upkeep right now. So I guess we don't do that. Path grass buy property. Buy an extension to your property line costs 500. Oh, is that? Oh, it's a lot cheaper than I thought. We've bought some property. <laughs> now we can go down that way. You know, let's just uh Test hole. Deploy 10 virtual balls to test your hole using realistic golf physics, the same as a real golfer would. Oh. That's an interesting little thing. So there's like bad golfers and good golfers, and average golfers. How interesting. Alright, let's uh. Open the hole. T2 open. Try right clicking to remove Garen texture. No. Tips about making a great hole. Golfers want to feel like they are being challenged, but nobody wants their golf ball stuck in a hazard. Place trees, rocks, water, and sand traps around your holes to make them seem more challenging while still keeping the holes possible. Ideally, every shot taken will look hard, but still land within the fairway or green. Making a truly awesome golf course is difficult and time-consuming. Watch your golfers play on your course and make adjustments as necessary. All right, uh, what is why is this exclamation marked? What's what's going on? Par is too low, course is too straight. It's too close. All right, let's just not have this. Um, let's paint this back with grass. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now we bought new territory. I can. Have them just... Can I do something crazy? <laughs> no, I think... I own this property. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. But you know, let's try it. We're gonna go T. T2 is gonna be right here. Hole is gonna be... Right here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try make this somehow functional. Let's go terrain tools. Is there a flatten terrain? Okay, we gotta flatten this terrain. So it doesn't roll off. And we gotta flatten this terrain so it doesn't roll off. Okay, that's kind of flat. And gotta kind of flatten that as well. Okay, they're already shooting over water. Let's not make it too impossible. Fairway, uh, yes, accept changes. Okay, good. Fairway, uh, paint over, yeah, all of that. So we're gonna have this. We have to get through this rock over to here, and then we're gonna have green like that and paint around the green with a bit more fairway. Okay. How do they get over there? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Test hole. Zero failed. Worst par is six. Zero failed sounds good to me. Open. T2 open. Do they have to walk over there? Like, I don't... Can they just walk up and down these cliffs? I don't know. I don't know if they can. Like, how do we... How do we make this... There is this path. A nice smooth surface for golfers to power walk on. So... Can I surround this? Can this? Can they walk across this? Can I just path on over? Go around that tree, yep. And they're gonna walk up to here. 
up into there. Don't paint over these things. Yeah, can, can you guys figure out how to do that? We can also have a path just lead up over to there. That's hideous, but I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, um, I assume they can walk on this path, right? This, this looks like an insane challenge. They're just a little short. Do you think I can actually fix that? If I flatten terrain and just... Can I bring this up just a little bit? Okay. And then accept those changes. Just make this slightly easier for them. Then they should love this. There we go. It's just shortened a little bit. That actually looks kind of cool. Like, if you come down to this level, things look kind of okay. Top view, not so much, but... Like, for example, this... Does this look okay? That looks kind of cool. Alright. Lights. Yes. Uh, we need to go to... Public buildings, lights... We're gonna have to light this up. Can I build anywhere here? Light that up. Have a light right in the middle here and make sure they can see what they're doing right at the end. Good. All right, I'm learning and looks like they're all hitting it fine. I better avoid the steep cliff. Nice, perfect par seven. Par 7? What is the par of... No, no, it's par 3. Oh, he got 7 happiness points for getting perfect par. This one here is also par 3? Okay. Things are working out. Look at that. Ah. Try giving them transport tubes to cross the water. Uh... We could add some sand traps. We could. We've already made this really hard. Um, but let's... What are transport tubes? Trans tube connectors. Wire your golf course up with transport tubes to zip your golfers and workers around at ludicrous speeds. Only the connectors have a cost and can support up to four tube sections. The tube sections are free and can be removed and reconnected at any time. So let's see. If I want to, for example, have this set up there and then we could set this up here and there does that work and then we could have another tube set up just straight up to the side here i think that's that makes sense does that just work I love how easy that was. I love how easy that was. Are they like shooting over? <laughs> They're shooting over the transport tube. I don't know if that adds to the challenge, but sure. Can they then just get in the transport tube and teleport over? They just fly like that, okay. Georgia, get at it. And then they just teleport. Oh, that is... that works so well! That works so well! Are there employees you can hire? There are these bots, these drones walking around. There's ammo, global workload, weed aggression. This is the hub. We can upgrade it. Not enough cash. I can start playing golf. Of course, this is a... This is a sim golf inspiration so of course we can play but oh we can customize our i assume there will be more options doctor manager no we're what game is that except uh okay 
you know, we've been in quarantine for a few months. I've gained a little bit. <laughs> Look, Mrs. Gamezak has been baking a lot, and this has been happening to me as we go through quarantine. Okay, now we're just gonna be a little bit idealistic. Color. That's a nice color there. That's kind of the color of my face right now because of this screen, but... Actually, I'm gonna go with that. And we're gonna pair it. Nothing really pairs well. You know, if I do this... And that still doesn't look... It could be really beige. We could be really obnoxiously goldy yellow. That actually kind of works. We got black pants. Okay, we could just go dark. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the order of skin color, but it's fine. Hair color. Do we have hairstyles? It's fine. Hairstyles, we got five styles. Oh. <laughs> that is obnoxious. Let's let's do that. Head shape. This is surprisingly detailed, despite it being low poly. These two head shapes are the same. Okay, let's do that. Extra. Oh, glasses, goatee, mustache, visor. This is what I'm wearing now, except game is axe in the game. Oh, it's gonna teach me about transport tubes, which I think... Oh, it just goes over water as well. Like, I can place it right in the middle of the water. That's actually amazing. Okay, let's build in um, some other stuff. This is the third hole. They're probably gonna want some stuff at the end of this. Um, how much money do we have? Can I... Can I build things, like, up the top here? For example, can I have... Oh, it's got a radius, I see. So the transport tube's dropping them off there. I guess it's okay if I just have this here, right? They should pass this fine. What else do we got? Bench? You guys want to sit down for a while? Like this. Maybe you guys want to sit down up there, yeah? Uh, drinks machine? Near the bench? Yeah, I know. I know how to sell drinks. Snack machine? Right outside the restroom? <laughs> Doubles up, okay. Garbage can. Right, uh, we're gonna want this. Probably want two of these, just to make sure litter doesn't become an issue. Okay, we've got some facilities here and we're kind of almost broke. Let's set up uh, another golf hole right here. Starting off right around here. Was that a hole or a tee? That's the wrong thing. Golf tee. Golf hole. So this, there's a hill here. How do I want to... I probably want to go around this up to here, maybe? Yeah, let's settle on the water there. Let us make sure smooth terrain flattened let's just make sure this is flattened okay it's good fairway accept changes yeah do that we flatten that fairway right total grounds upkeep I'm not sure if we're making money i have alerts okay I've got a make my way around this hill down to here. 
and we have green. Okay, what's the alert? Oh, it's two closed structures. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. Uh, we want to open this. Let's make it a little bit harder. Don't paint over fairways, mud pits, or greens. Let's throw a sand pit here to give the illusion of difficulty. They're like, oh, there's a sand pit, but it's right there. So if I do a test hole, Some hit to here, but it does, it should roll down, right? If I just turn this into a bit of fairway, that should kind of work. Okay, cool. Also, there's some other stuff here. Uh, is it utility buildings, drone hub, laser turret? Kills weeds. Okay, what kind of weeds are we dealing with here? Nature props. Can sometimes make golfers a bit happy when seen. Seed foliage. To grow trees? It's expensive, but we just put down some trees. Alright, um... What is it? Decorations, fountains, large fountains, arch fountain, large flower garden, a little bit of a flower garden, something's locked, okay. Skill boosters, prestige items. Okay. Uh... Course testing, yep, adjusting terrain, good. We can upgrade the clubhouse. Uh, you initially start off with zero star clubhouse, but it can be upgraded all the way up to five star mega tower. Look at that. Every upgrade unlocks new prestigious structures and allows you to build three additional holes. Upgrades get you progressively more expensive and require you to have a minimum number of golf memberships. Understood. Now, Golf structures, there's some other stuff here. A ball launcher, a round hyper bumper. Oh, it's like pinball. Mega wicket. Ring of fire, excitement high. Thought I could put a ring of fire here, so they shoot it through the ring of fire to the other side, but it's okay. Um. Can I put a ring of fire somewhere? Like, have them shoot it through this ring of fire right at the start. Right? That tree is going to burn. How do I get rid of this tree? Get rid of that tree. Okay. Let's keep the fairway going there. So. They start off, there's just a couple of bushes right in front of them, but there's that ring of fire that they have to shoot through, and it goes down there. <laughs> okay, we've got a ring of fire for excitement. Golf needs this IRL. <laughs> I can see this happening. It's like mini golf, but the other way. It's mega golf. <laughs> right? It's like, you know, you know how mini golf takes regular golf and makes things fun and small? This is the opposite. It's mega golf. It makes it as ridiculous, but big. <laughs> now, I am told that I can play this uh, start playing golf. Start playing golf. Yes, you can play golf on your own golf course. This is a necessary feature in a sim golf spiritual successor like any other golfers your manager has thoughts and skills your manager starts off with the worst possible skill level but the more you play the more your ma 
manger. <laughs> it's early, early access, okay? Manager will improve. Playing golf with your manager is a great way to learn about how your golf course really works. Plus, other golfers also enjoy seeing you out there swinging a club. Note, while your manager is playing golf, they won't be tending to other duties. Except, all right, how do we how do we play? Is this me? There's, there's Game of Zach. Okay. Ready to shoot? Yes. Managers are waiting to shoot. Can I choose anything? Status effects? No status effects. Scorecard. Enable jerk mode. Let's you shoot your ball as soon as you walk to it, regardless of who may be in the way. <laughs> uh, stop playing golf. Edit manager. Focus camera. Okay. I love coming to play golf. Okay. So... We've got skills, but I don't think we've got any any particular... Oh, I'm going to do a backspin shot or something like that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try shoot over straight onto this bit here. I assume we're terrible. I assumed correctly. We have to make it down this way. Um, let's try shoot there. Okay. Worked out a little bit nicer. Unhappy. My ball didn't go where I wanted. Okay. I suppose the green should be a little bit bigger, but let's try this. We are so bad. <laughs> I'm in this picture, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay, off I go. Here we are. In the queue. This light beam on me is insane. It's just so over the top. Okay, so boredom goes up, I think, right? Yeah, so we want boredom low. Oh, we want all of these low. These are all bad stats. I see. Music's still on point. Oh, I can't wait to get to the Ring of Fire. Blocked by another group. Yeah, there's a bit of a queue. Daily profit, 1,800. Daily expenses, 476. We're making money. Alright, ready to go. Like it says we can just shoot all the way over here. Let's try. Yeah, these pads are worthless. Who needs pads when you've got these tubes? Blocked by another group. Oh, we're waiting for them to clear off, I think? Enable jerk mode. Gamerzak is now a jerk. <laughs> I want to play golf. I built this golf course. All right, we're over here. We're going to just shoot straight at the other golfers. Bam. Try to dodge me. <laughs> okay, we can disable jerk mode. Gamerzak is no longer a jerk. Oh, we're blocked by them again. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Increase loft, decrease loft. I don't know what loft is. What's loft? Got it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How high you hit the ball. Oh! Okay, we're having a sit down, which drops our fatigue down. Okay, stats don't go up too high. Uh, too fast, rather. Alright, ring of fire time. Look at that. The fire goes blue. It goes blue. Alright, 
that. So it does bounce to the right, but then it sort of goes into these bushes. Can I modify the terrain? To do something like this. So it sort of filters down. Accept changes. So that way it helps. Okay, we're ready to shoot. So we can, oh, I see. We can drop the loft so it goes further. But we need the loft to go through the ring of fire. So let's see if we can actually do this. Yes, maybe through the ring of fire. Where are we? We're there. We're just waiting. Enable jerk mode. Take the shot. I just totally miss. Jeez, I am so bad. How? No one does that. <laughs> no one shoots it there. I'm the only one who shoots it there. Uh, get back in. And then the hills should benefit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, all these dots behind me here, these are the golfers. So it's a very quick way to see how many golfers are here. Can we just shoot at these guys? Jerk mode's disabled, but we can just swing at them. Let me give myself an unfair advantage. I'm gonna paint fairway underneath where I currently am. You think you can cheat at golf? <laughs> uh. Okay. Almost. Uh. Okay, come on. Okay. okay, come on. Okay, we've played a round of golf in our own club. Oh, the walk back is a bit far, I see. That's how people arrive. Okay. We've played around. We've played around. Very nice. Uh, I feel like we need at least one more hole here, but... This cliff here looks so intriguing. This, this is nice. Um, can I start? A T. We, oh, we gotta upgrade. Three is the max. How do we upgrade this? Upgrade. Not enough cash. Um, upgrade level, upgrade cost is 4,000. We have no members. We have no members. Visits 53. I think we need some memberships. Can we do anything to, to get more members? I'm not sure, but I feel like, so yeah, walking from here to there is not too big a deal. Then we're gonna go up this hill for the next tee off. And then I wanna shoot it down into this pit. Okay. How does this look? Yeah, everything looks, visually this game's pretty satisfying. Right? It's like, it's got some weird effects. You can see that there's this weird effect when you s It's got that No Man's Sky effect. <laughs> what, what is that effect? It's like the, the visuals just sort of... Blur out in lines sort of thing. Happens in No Man's Sky, I think. Last I played it anyway. Uh, but overall, aesthetic-wise, this is, this is very easy on the eyes. This is very pleasant to look at. Look at that. It's nice. It's nice. This golfer is unhappy. Click to find out why. Tim? My ball is in the thicket. Oh, is this bush? Is this stuff causing some problems? We, we can nuke it. We can make things a little bit more pleasant for you guys. There we go. I'm gonna leave the tree. 
Okay, can I terrain tools? Lower terrain. Is there a brush size here? Uh, yes. Okay, these hotkeys do work on brush size. So I want to make this really small and just sort of create a funnel coming down to here. And then I need to flatten that end bit there. Okay. So that should... Yep, yep, yep. Oh. I created a cliff. Oh, cliffs automatically happen if things are too steep. Yeah. That kind of works though, right? If they go down the cliff, they still end up in the fairway. Right? They shouldn't be able to get stuck on the cliff. Why? Flatten terrain. Maybe just like that. Oh, so these colors show kind of what's gonna happen. I see. I've kind of made this really weird. But okay, that looks kind of interesting. Right? If they get stuck here, it should go down that little funnel down to here. I just... Th this outline actually helps a lot. It really kind of shows... where things go. That's kind of interesting though. I like that. I like that. Okay, we still don't have enough money to upgrade. What is all this? Orbital power. Got the date. We can name our golf course, of course. Or dwellment, as always. Trace golf course. Oh, it shows the layers there. Complaints overlay. Oh, that's nice. That's handy. This is such a nice overlay. It's like these are where people get unhappy. Look at that. Ball landing overlay. Oh, so we can see that where things often land. How do they shoot it straight into the sand pit? That's supposed to be an illusion of difficulty, not actual difficulty. Expense overlay, where we've spent all our money. Weeds overlay. We have no weeds. Okay. Oh, we have abilities. Orbital extortion. Sap money out of your golfer's wallets from high orbit. Golfers won't like this happening to them, but money is money. Subliminal skill injection. Remote resupply. Deweed bomb. Mysterious happy bee. I see a lot of people here. Ew. Give me money. <laughs> we, we just zapped the money right out of them. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, are there employees? Yeah, I, I think there there are these bots. I don't see actual employees employees. Um, we have this drone. Which is resupply various devices and machines as well as destroy weeds. So these are the employees. They periodically need to return to their hub to recharge currently looking for work, but there's not much work to do. Global workload, this bot is handling 52% of all the work that we have, which is the maintenance of things, I think. Okay. Um, we made money, but why do we have so little? Finances. Weekly report. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Groundskeeping. Transtube connected. So here's... Here's all the stuff we're spending on. Sort by total cost, okay. So as far as I can tell, this is working accurately. They're still technically landing on the fairway. These two cliff patches, I think they do just roll off onto the fairway. So they should be relatively happy, right? It's too dark. I don't have lights here. I forgot about lights. Lighter there. 
a stick of light anywhere here. And the light to cover this area. Where's the... That should work? It's better than nothing. Okay, good. It's lit. So yeah, this looks hard, but it should be relatively easy. Right? Most of the... The balls are hitting this way, right? Yeah. I was extorted somehow. <laughs> Minus eight. I've been extorted. Oh, this guy's super happy. My ball didn't go where I wanted it to go. Oh, okay. It just didn't go. I mean, this this works pretty well. Yeah, it looks like it's it's doing what I intended to do. Weeds seem to be an important mechanic. Yeah, weeds, it's from Sim Golf. It's pretty much your only adversary, right? It's your only adversary, weeds. They come up, you gotta get rid of them. You gotta get groundskeepers in Sim Golf. Here, I think the bots handle things. So our orbital's power does seem to recharge over time. So I can do a mysterious happy beam on all of these people. So they all get happier. I'm mysteriously happy, plus 12. So I extorted them, then I made them happier. So they should actually give us more money now that they're happy again, right? Jack, Ariel, Jim, Leah. He leveled up in terms of skill, right? They all have their own individual skills. All right, come on. Come on. I say skill. Okay. Simgolf didn't have laser turrets. Yeah, it's sci-fi futuristic. Simgolf. Okay. Okay, good. We're approaching 4,000. We can upgrade our, our, our home base soon enough. Oh, that guy was hit. That ball landed way too close to me. Minus 10. Jeez. Jack was hit by a golf ball. You have to pay $66 just to sink your putt. This this is more of a uh, pay what you like golf course. There's no fixed prices. You just you just pay um, depending on how happy you are. And what is going on all here? Restroom. What's the problem? Last use 22.1 minutes. Upkeep 60. There's there's exclamation marks. Unused structures. They're not being used? That's the problem? Hey, I'm playing. Or I'm just wandering around. Whoa! I'm riding a hoverboard. Look at that. So the, these warnings are unused structure, snack machine. I guess they're just not that hungry here. Hunger is only 23, 24% when they're around the snack machine. So I just basically built it too early, right? It needs to be further along in the golf course. Probably at least at the end of, yeah, see like um, bladder is only 13%. We don't need this stuff here. So I guess I can just sell it all. Right? Because it's not going to be used here. The drinks machine was used. Yeah, drinks machine and bench are used, but th this is not used. Because uh, they have a garbage meter as well. I guess they're, they're responsible people and they actually just hold on to, to the garbage. Until they're just overwhelmed and they just drop it. Okay, but that gave us 4,000. Let's upgrade. Our hub. Look at this thing. It's like out of Dark Rain 2. How do we upgrade this? There we go. Upgrade. 
Clubhouse upgraded. Congratulations, your golf course is profitable and you're now considered a one-star course. You may now build up to six holes. As you expand your course, be sure to keep your golfers fed, hydrated, and comfortable. Use trans tubes to allow your golfers to traverse your growing course with ease. New items unlocked, driving range, putting green, lawn mortar for fireweed burning chemical shells. To, to just mortar the weeds away. I think the weeds they're talking about are kind of more like alien weeds. Learn about drone workers. Build drone hubs to bolster your work. Like, see see those glowing plants? I think those are the weeds, right? And they just overtake your course. See all those lasers trying to fight the weeds? I think they're like aggressive, hyper alien weeds, right? Build drone hubs, bolt to your workforce, drones will fight weeds, restock vending machines, clean restrooms, empty garbage cans, repair damaged structures. Drones will destroy weeds on site, but they will not comb the island looking for weeds. Hmm. Drones have to periodically return to their hub to resupply. Now, I did want to create one more hole here. Can the holes overlap? I see no reason why they can't. However, it's going to have the, the issue of... Um, of uh carl upgraded their membership to bronze carl we've got a member we've got two bronze members all right um yeah if the golf balls land near people they get really unhappy okay so from this we need a hole i want it down here it's gonna be a par Four? I think that's what that means, right? Oh no, it's just hole four. Okay, details are there. I think just over by there's good, yeah. Terrain tools, let's set down the green. A little bit bigger. Okay, let's set the fairway. So, oh, the plan for this is to actually shoot down to there is that the idea oh no it does adjust it does adjust okay so if i have this do that that works right yeah, just fairway straight up to it and then we can fairway our way down to it okay so this is going to be super easy let's grass this off again have the fairway it so it should it should be super easy but I'm gonna throw down sand trap here and a sand trap here and I'm gonna sand trap around the sides here and have the fairway sneak around like that okay so we have another hole there. Let us open the hole. Actually, let's do the whole the whole test hole. Oh, I see. That goes straight into the sand trap there. And then these guys. Okay. So we just have to green that up. Just have to green that up. Just have to green that up. It should be relatively okay. And green that up. Okay, good. Handy tool. Golf checkpoint tele-exit. Golf checkpoints can be turned into teleporters simply by adding a tele-exit, creating a link between them. Keep in mind that only the ball will be teleported. Make sure... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let's just open this. T open. Let's go to... Trans tubes. We can set up a trans tube right here, which is gonna make its way back to. What's the max range of this thing? Make its way back. Without wrecking a whole bunch of trees. Yeah, it's gonna put that there. And then you can 
get home easy enough. Ah, look at that. It's like almost a real golf course. Look, we're getting bronze members and everything. Uh, but we do need some lights. Let's light this up. Oh, not enough cash. We're broke. Oh. We've actually totally overspent. This, this last course is just dark. But shooting down this cliff looks fun, right? Look at that, Luna. Shooting down a cliff. This downhill, this downhill shot looks fun. 11. Look at that. This is amazingly fun to just shoot down. Also, we did unlock some other buildings. What were they? Not utility buildings. They're not decorations. Skill boosters. Pater boosters. No. Okay, prestige items. Ah, there we go. Cost 5,000, cost 5,000. Putting green and driving range. Give golfers a place to practice their driving skills so they become better at golfing, which means they're just happier golfing. Right? The rain comes, the weeds are super blooming. Orbital abilities. Weeds, weeds are growing. Okay, so I know about orbital abilities, but where are weeds? Weeds overlay. I see. So it's raining right now. As you can see, it's raining. Which means weeds are growing over here. Are any sneaking into my area? Not yet. But I want to get a good look at these weeds. Mostly it's over in this territory. I'd like to buy this territory, but we're kind of broke. Is 1,600 how much money we're gonna make? Okay, we gotta look at the weeds. They're the main adversary of this game. Looks like a fun game so far. Yeah, actually, we've been going an hour. It's, it's pretty nice, considering this is early, early access, right? It's not done, it's not refined. Nothing's really gone wrong. It runs smoothly, it looks pretty. Oh, we've got a little bit of money. Look at that. Um, like, the only thing I'm concerned about is a lack of personality with these upcoming simulation games. And so far, it's okay. It's not quite as packed with personality as Sim Golf, right? I'm not as connected to these golfers as I am in Sim Golf. You know? What? What do they say in Sim? Shmayuho! They say something like that, right? I, I want them exclaiming ridiculous things, which they kind of do, but I want it to be even more filled. I haven't even tried all the crazy pinball features. Yeah, we're kind of broke, but... Uh, the, there was... We did see um, golf structures here. There's like the ball launcher, the hyper bumper. It's like if I put a hyper bumper right here, where do these balls here land? Well, I can put a hyper bumper on the far side. Yeah, let's put a hyper bumper... ...right here. So I assume if they hit that, it works like pinball. Yeah, there's also the angled hyper bumpers. Which I assume is something... We could, for example, put enough cash. How much is it? 180? Okay. Why are they taking... They're taking this tube to get down. Oh, right, because there's no real way to walk down there. <laughs> okay, we made a bit more money. This angled hyper bumper, I want to make sure if they shoot too far, it bounces back the other way. Let's see what happens with these things. And I think they, they kind of make sense. These guys are not paying us much money. Mood 10. Mood 25, though. There should be green this close to the hole. Is the green not big enough? What 
Look at all these members! We've got 14 bronze members. Five. Can you make a T intersection in the tubes? Good question. I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. I don't know if... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can make intersections in the tubes. They just work, so it's nothing... ...too complex, but... Oh, I didn't realize this slope was like that. I wonder why they're all going in the sand pit. <laughs> um, raised terrain. Uh, let's make that a little bit less of an issue. Yeah, okay, good. Some changes. Good. We sold that. Okay. Barely. Cover that up. That should stop them from going straight into the sand pit every time. Are they shooting it into the water? Where are these guys shooting to? Oh no, I've bugged out the game. I've changed the terrain as they're shooting, so now it just shoots underground. I've put the balls underground. <laughs> I found a bug. I found a bug. The balls are spawning underground, so they can only shoot them under the surface. Okay. Um, how do I fix this? Lower terrain. Yuck. They went in the drink. Oh, they, they all just quit. Okay, never mind. Discard changes. It's fine. Temporary issue. No worries. No worries. <laughs> the balls were there. They didn't raise with the terrain I raised, so they were just... <laughs> <laughs> Don't think anyone ever hits that pinball stuff. But I assume we could. Let's let's find out what happens. Where's my little cliffy bit here? What happens if you do this? Mega wicket. Uh, so things always land here. Let's see what happens. You know, once everything starts coming together, this this really does start to look a bit more alive. Look at that. Oh, also, I wanted to see where the weeds were. Mostly over there. Uh, how do I buy terrain again? This one. On a, how much was it? 5,000 for the next one? Okay. Weeds are just not coming at us for a while then. I guess that's okay. Now, is anyone gonna hit this thing? Perhaps. Maybe. No. No one's gonna hit it. Everyone just shoots over. It's fine. Golf balls have touched the hyper bumper are violently blasted away. Oh, there it is. Oh, I can see... I can see that being very... <laughs> Does it roll back down into it? No, not quite. Like, you can build a lot of things to almost have the... Like, they hit the golf ball and it just goes by itself through an insane obstacle course. Right? Bump force. You can tweak how much force it's got. Let's put it on max. Oh, you can tweak? You can tweak the power of things like the bump force? You can tweak all this stuff. Did it. I did not realize that you can tweak service at 20%. Oh, this is how, when the drone comes over and services it. I see. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot of customization, huh? This is a really good... This this is this is my best course, right? This is the, the best hole, right? There's the Cortez and Crystal upgraded their memberships. Like, we've got the Ring of Fire, 
We've got the bumper. We've got... The crack of doom. <laughs> but they always land on the fairway, and then they go in here. Look at this, they're so happy. This, this is how you build a course, right here. This, it looks interesting and cool as well. Right? So I assume this has bump force we can push up as well, but I think that they very rarely hit that. Does the color of it change with... It does. Full force is green. Low force is pink. So this is blue. It changed... There's a visual feedback for how strong things are. So this is purple at 100. And it's yellow at 25. That's a nice little touch, because then as you learn the visual communication of this game... <laughs> it's, it's... You enjoyed that? I don't know. The, this crazy gadget looks fun. It cancelled out. The ball didn't go where I wanted to go. <laughs> Maybe it's a little too strong, but... Okay, I see. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Anyway, that's a nice hour plus of Golftopia. I think it's a really good... Make a flat hole with a bunch of bumps. You could straight up build a pinball machine in this game. And this being early, early access, you know, it's... It's really solid. It's really solid. A few bugs. We're good at finding bugs. We found one. We found one spelling mistake, right? Uh, tweaky things like that. It's fine. The game's not even for sale yet. But what we've seen here is actually really satisfying. Um, so I do hope they continue development. We can learn about long-term golfer care here. Every golfer that visits your course is persistent. You'll see golfers returning to your course time and time again, slowly increasing their golf skills. Right, they're persistent visitors, so they all have their own fixed histories. They can resign memberships and lose all of their earned skills. Right. Crazy devices. There we go, there's a video of what you can... Look at this stuff. That's what you can do. That's what you can do. Ah. But I like it. Aesthetic-wise is nice. Music is weirdly not... Like, it's weirdly not annoying. <laughs> You'd think this music sort of gets annoying very quickly, but it's actually fine. It's actually fine. Okay. It's very pop, but electro-pop sort of thing. The stuff that's in, the focus really is on building this golf course. The weeds sound insane. We haven't personally encountered them, but I assume... I was told that this is kind of almost a tower defense game, right? That's what the lasers are for, to fight off the onslaught of waves of weeds, uh, which seems to eventually come your way. Um, so that sounds pretty good, because you need that tension, that excitement of fighting things off that's trying to ruin you. And you've seen the videos up there of how the weeds can ruin your course. My orbital power is full. There's orbital power abilities. Very Command and Conquer Generals, <laughs> which we recently played. There's like a lot of stuff to it. I mean, it needs some refinement. I, I would say I would like three, four, five times more content, just more stuff, but as a base, it's very, very solid. So I'm very impressed with Golftopia as it stands and look forward to the rest of its development through 2020 and probably into 2021. Anyway, that's going to be it for Golftopia for today. I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do subscribe on Twitch, become a YouTube member or support directly on Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzack. Support from those places does mean I can reduce ads on YouTube, and we've already reduced a lot of ads on YouTube. Uh, you might see there aren't that many, just a handful on every video now. 
Uh, you can also use the Humble Bundle referral link to buy games, which are often cheaper, uh, and that helps support the channel as well. And there's a merch store link down below. And please do join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, particularly. We are active on all of those. And of course, the wonderful Discord community, discord.gg slash gamerzek. Come join us there. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now to see so, so much more content. Thank you all so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.